Hello, I'm Dr Jenny Murphy and I'm a new lecturer in the Department of Psychology at Royal Holloway. I'm spending lockdown at my flat in Kentish Town and actually started my new role at Royal Holloway during the lockdown. Today I'm going to tell you a bit about the research that I do and why I think it's exciting. So most of us have heard of the five basic senses, touch, smell, taste, sight and hearing, but few of us know the term interception. Interception means sensing internal signals from our body, like when you're hungry or your heart is beating fast. And you probably don't pay attention to these signals all the time, but if your teacher asks you to give a class presentation, you might feel your heart thumping in your chest. Have a go at trying to feel your heartbeat without using your hands. Is it easy or difficult to feel your heart beating? Now, have a think about how often you notice your heart beating. In your everyday life, do you notice your heart beating often, hardly ever, or somewhere in the middle? You probably noticed those questions asked you about two different things, how good you are at feeling your heart beating and how much attention you pay to your heartbeat. Now my research suggests that these are two different individual differences that might affect our other abilities, traits and behaviour in different ways. In fact, there are large individual differences in people's answers to these questions and their performance on interception tasks. And this means everyone is different. What is interesting to psychologists is the impact of these individual differences in interception on behaviour, health and well-being. Now, some consequences of individual differences in interception are not that surprising. For example, if we have difficulty sensing stomach signals, you might eat or drink too much or too little. However, research suggests that individual differences in interception may also affect behaviour that we might not expect, such as emotional experience. How do we know if we're happy, sad, angry or disgusted? When we experience an emotion, it's usually accompanied by a change in our body state, like our heart racing. However, your heart beating fast could mean many things. You might be scared, excited, or have just run for the bus. Most psychologists would agree that as well as sensing signals from our body, we act like detectives and gather information from the world around us to work out which emotion we're experiencing. If our heart is beating fast and we're about to give a class presentation, we might say we feel scared or nervous, whereas if our heart is beating fast and our football team is about to win the big game, we might say we feel excited. So even though we use other clues too, our ability to sense internal signals is an important part of our emotional experience. Now thinking about individual differences in interception may be important for understanding well-being. For example, research suggests that people who are anxious pay more attention to internal signals. And because they pay extra attention to things like their heartbeat, something like a class presentation might be scarier for anxious people. Anxious people may also notice their heart beating quickly in situations that we wouldn't normally consider scary or worrying, like going to a fun party with friends. A person without anxiety might think their heart is racing fast because they're excited about the party. But for somebody anxious, a racing heartbeat may make them think there is something to be afraid of. Now, scientists don't know why some people find sensing internal signals easy and others find it difficult. One way of understanding where individual differences come from is to study interception in people of different ages. And that's why I'm really interested in how interception might change across our lives, particularly during our teenage years, and whether these changes are important for our emotional abilities and well-being. And whilst I try to answer these questions, I think it's important for everyone to understand what interception is and why it might be important not only to ask how am I feeling, but also what am I feeling? If you're interested in finding out more about interception, check out the InstaLab's What is Interception video or watch Professor Garfinkel's TED Talk on YouTube. For now, I'll be continuing my research from my flat in Kentish Town, but I'm looking forward to exploring Royal Holloway's beautiful campus as soon as I'm back in the lab.